Hello everybody and welcome back to another YouTube video. As you already know by the title, today I'm going to be telling you all you need to know about DAD for master's program in Germany. Now to begin with, DAD stands for German Academic Exchange Service and yes, like I said in a previous video I made about Germany, this has no relation whatsoever with the name because this is an English fashion and that is in German and I don't want to spoil the beautiful language of German so I'm not going to try to say it. Now what does that do? That is a German organization that can cover your accommodations, your health insurance, your travel expenses, your German language course if you want to learn German language. This is not mandatory but if you want to, that can also help you to take your family into Germany as well. Now besides all these expenses they're going to pay for, they will also be giving you a monthly allowance depending depending on what level you are. If you're an undergraduate, you'll be receiving 750. If you're doing your master's degree, you'll be receiving 850. And if you're doing your PhD or doctorate, you'll be receiving the amount of 1,200. So you see, they actually have a lot to offer you. Now, who are eligible to apply? If you're applying on the master's, then definitely you have to show a proof of your first degree. This could be example, your diploma or your bachelor's degree. You also have to show your proficiency of language. What this means is if you're going to study in German language, you have to show proof that you can speak and understand German language. And if you're coming to study under the English medium, you have to show proof of English that you can speak and understand English. This could be your IELTS on all of that. Those I have already discussed in a previous video. Now your previous degree should not be more than six years old. Now what it means is right after you graduate to six years after you graduate. This is the duration that you can apply for the scholarship. Now this is not the duration to apply for a master's program into Germany. This is the duration you can apply for a scholarship on that dad. Besides this you also have to show two years of working experience and a letter from your previous working place. Now these are the general requirements for that. When you log into their website, there are other detailed things that they request for you. Now when you log into their website at www.2.dat.de, you will see a list of things you're supposed to do. First of all, you're supposed to put in your country of origin. Now that has so many branches all over the world. So when you put in your country of origin, the branch based on your country is going to come out. Now when this second website comes up, then you can input some settings. You can input the course you are under and then the intentions. What are the courses that are covered under that? You have medicine, engineering, law, art, computer, nutrition, agriculture, economics, sports, music, social sciences, cultural studies. In case you want something else besides the ones I just mentioned, you can feel free to type it there on that course and if it's under that, it will appear. Now right below that you'll see um, intentions. Here you can put in what your intentions are, for example, you can put in internship. Now all of this you can see in their website or you can see it under that scholarship database. Now under requirements, besides the general things that I've just mentioned, when you choose a particular course or subject and that you want to study they will also ask you for some specific requirements based on the department you choose or based on the course you want to study feel free to put in any additional document that you have that can boost your chances for example like a volunteer work or a research that you have done now how long does the that scholarship last now usually the scholarship is the duration of your course which is usually like one year to two years now don't forget with that you're applying for a scholarship you're not applying into the university. That is a whole different thing. Now to apply to university, you can either do this directly by going to their website and applying, or you can use UniAssist. UniAssist is a program that helps international students apply to universities in Germany, and they have over 170 universities under them. Now, I will advise you to confirm that your university recognizes UniAssist as a way of registering or applying into the university because some universities don't recognize them but over 170 universities recognize them now you can either use uni assets which helps you to process your applications or you can apply directly into the university. And also people can be asking, if you can apply directly into the university, why will you use UniAssist? You can use them because it can help you to be sure you don't miss a step or to help you prevent any kind of mistakes in your application process. If you're going to use UniAssist, I would advise that you use them eight weeks before deadline closes for your university. So guys, that is all for this video. I hope you found it very informative. I hope you find it very useful. See you in my next video. Bye.